y'all know. All right, boys, what just happened today? Um, so this person caught us, um, shoot the school up. Um, basically they said they would shoot the school up, and the police came in here. Yes. I was out at recess. Um, so we was getting extra recess. Uh -huh. They came, the cops came flewing in through the bus loop, and then we, they caught, they, tell, they told us to come on. Get in the school. Yeah, and we went into the fourth grade, and guess who I saw while I was at it? Katie. <laughs> KK. Well. Our cousin. Well, guys, I tell you what, we, I got a little bit of it. I'm going to show you a little bit about what the scene was outside the school building. But, uh, what happened today was there was somebody called into our local sheriff's department and threatened to shoot our local elementary school up and uh, the cops responded within probably 30 seconds and i'm not joking there was an undressed civilian in civilian clothing cop pulled in within probably 30 seconds of his siren coming on got into the school with his gun drawn, ready to clear it and the other ones got here the best response time which they wasn't going to get past me, or they wasn't going to get past the other parents that was out there because we was there guarding and ready waiting to once we heard what was going on. But all the kids are safe, and there's still cops here. We're actually still here at the school. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's still cops here. We have our local city and local sheriff, uh, county sheriff, but uh, nobody was getting into that school, whether they was armed or not. Um, I was going to protect her kids. My boys wasn't scared, and they tried he to comfort wasn't. others. Hmm? No, Sam wasn't scared. He was. Uh, he I wasn't was scared. All my friends are strong. I, I've worried a little bit because I like there was people, but oh. I wasn't scared because um, Peyton said that he. <laughs> Got idea, Damn, I'm I got an old shot. Okay, just a, just a news update from what we've heard. We've heard that they've already arrested the suspect that threatened the school. Yeah, they already arrested. And uh, that's good. We are happy that they got the perpetrator. Woman but I tell you what, the people need to quit threatening and pranking and whatever they're doing. I think there needs to be some heavy consequences to these people that's threatening. After all these places, it's uh, school shootings has happened over the last few years, and there's nut jobs out there, whether it's a, a mad student or an ex student, or whether it's a uh, a mad parent or whatever. Uh, things need to kind of calm down, don't they? But yeah, we still have a, a presence here of cops that are here patrolling just in case something does go on after school. But from what we've heard, they may have them. I'll update you a little later in the video if the, something does happen other than that. So, guys, I tell you, it's been a day. I started out having a real good day. We took a, um, a family friend uh, a present that we got her because they had to put her dog down, which was a uh, sad, sad, sad situation. She had the dog over 16 years. And they've loved that dog, and we had I miss that dog. unfortunately cut down because we couldn't see her here, and it would pull thing would go down the highway and um, rub its head against the wall so it could not bump into things. So unfortunately, they took it to the vet and had it put down, and we bought her. And she that was her kid, like she couldn't have kids, so she loved that dog very dearly, and. Um, we got her a little blanket with pictures of the dog all over it and them and stuff so we went and had breakfast with them this morning and uh, got her that to uh, ease her heart and guys we uh, me and my sister had a good day out we went to Walmart done a little shopping and this and that and uh, and then I get, I get here to school to pick the kids up and then this happens uh, so it's been a, an adventurous good and scary day so now it's over with. We're hopefully everything's good. They uh, good response time by the cops, like I said, and that was very awesome. It made me feel better. But I was there. I, I was gonna make sure my kids stayed safe. As far as that, the rest of the kids that goes to this school, we wouldn't have let nobody in there because I wouldn't want nobody shooting. I could imagine what it'd be like to lose a kid. So I would protect all kids the same. But guys, if I get heavy more updates, I'll let you know. But as for right now, I guess I'm going to call this a short video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
give us a like subscribe if you're new you know do all the things we love you we'll see you in the next video and guys have a big one day please <laughs> all right guys i have a little update about the school issue that happened they did not catch anybody as far as we know it was a prank and actually not a credible threat but uh, nonetheless our um, our police force they was there within seconds believe it or not they had a well a very good response and uh, took care of the issue whether there was a going to be a shooting or not and they're still investigating and they're still uh, looking into it and they're still kind of uh, surveying the area and stuff like that to see what's going on so just in case there is something going on but uh, that was our adventure today again we'll see you later